What's going on guys, my name is Legion and in today's video I'm going to be doing a tutorial on how to make pretty cool, make your logos or AIs really cool looking in Cinema 4D. Something, I'm going to try to make a full, like, finished product looking like this. Like the thrust is really nice and it's really cracked and just overall a really good looking logo. Alright, anyway let's jump into it, let me delete all this. Alright, first of all I'm going to merge, like, let me just... Merge AI into here. Let me do the error logo since you've seen it. Open. Nothing. This really doesn't matter to me. I guess. Pretty fine to me. Let me center it in the middle. And first off, I'm like usually a lot of AIs have like things like this. You have to click this plus to find. And anyway, I, I press the like the third path, and I go all the way to the first path, and then press shift. And hold shift and click the top and then I'm gonna drag it out of it. Also a really good idea that my friend told me about is that you, the way to like you merge them instead of putting like tons of extra nerves that you hold shift and click the top of whatever it is, go to the bottom, click the top and you right click and go to connect plus delete. So it just merges all of them in one thing like this. Um, okay now I'm gonna go to extrude nerves. It should be right here like one of the things at the top is like a little box and alright whatever <laughs> and then you're gonna grab the path like the AI or whatever it is and you're gonna click it and you're gonna go underneath until you get like an arrow like that like going down and you just place it like that so it's basically 3D already so now I'm gonna basically show you the settings that I use to make it as good as looking as the one I just showed you um make pull this up a little bit I put the movement to about let's say 65 and then you go to caps, start, it's gonna be fill a cap, and then it's gonna be fill a cap as well. Um, radius on both of them is gonna be 0 0.365. 0 0.365. Alright, that's pretty decent to me. Um, now, I'm gonna duplicate it. The way to duplicate is you copy it, and just gonna paste it with control V, and make like four layers. Um, alright, now what you're gonna do is you're gonna hold shift and you can select the top, you're gonna select like the one, and you go to the top and select the one, the last one you duplicated, and you select all of them, for the radius is gonna be one, for both of them, and the movement is gonna be three. I know this is the really difficult part, I sort of taught my health self, self taught myself this, um, he's gonna, wait, let me go back. See, there's like a little, like, as you can see, like right over here, there's like a little, like a few objects. And when you, you go to the last one, it's like a window of some sort, you click that. And then you go to the one in the top right, like this. And you get like an overview of the object. Alright, now what I usually do is I try to, like, grab like each extra nerve that I made. And I try to put them in like different, or different sizes, I guess. Like this one's gonna go in the middle. So I'm gonna go, I, like, I just try to make them like really like, like a nice distance apart or some sort. Um, it's pretty good so far. And this one's gonna probably go right in the middle. It's like sort of kind of on top of each other, maybe I'll delete that one, but I guess not. Um, now we're gonna throw the materials onto it, so it's gonna make it look a lot better. If you want those Lightroom, feel free to add me on Skype. I'm entirely in the front of Christ is Lightroom for, for um, what you call it, this tutorial. Anyway, let me try to make it like um, make it red. Okay, so the first one I'm just gonna like you're gonna drag it and click the material and go to the right, and you make sure it has like a down arrow and select the top. As you can see, this one turned red. And what I usually do, I make the rest of them like a white or like a black. So I'm gonna make this like a white. So I'm gonna do the same thing. And what I make your life a real easier is that you select the the white logo, and you hold Control, and you keep you keep like duplicating it, and you can just place it. So far, let me see what this looks like so far. Alrighty. Which on the left on this? I have four minutes, so not too bad. Looks pretty good. I like using layers because it's really like a, a nice sort of effect with Cinema 4D. Alright, that looks pretty good to me. Alright, now I use Drowsy. 
Um, a lot of people do use this. Do you use this plugin? Um, if you want to get it, just simply search it up on YouTube. Maybe I'll put a link in the description or whatnot. So you're gonna go from like I say, like you need to go from this one to this one. So you're gonna hold shift and it's like the bottom or the top and you select all of them. And you go to plugins, drowsy, and you click drowsy. I just put the the pieces just two twenty two. I leave everything as is. I'm gonna break it and I'll resume it when it's done cracking. All right, it's done cracking. So once you're done, you're gonna be getting something like a lot of crap looking like this. Some X's out, and my go. This is really important. You see, like these X's right next to like the drowsy, the extrude nerves, or whatever these are called. You just like, gonna click on them, and they're gonna make a check mark, like a green one. Click all of them. All right. Once that's done, this is this this is what it looks like so far with like the crack text. Err, if I can load, there it goes. Let's see, it looks, it looks decent, I guess. Um, it can make it look a lot better, which is I'm gonna show you now. Let me select all these real fast again. Um, we're gonna go to MoGraph, Effector, Random Effector, and you can see it looks like a mess, in which I'm gonna try to fix it up as much as I can. So once again, once again, you select the top or the bottom, and you're gonna go to the top or the bottom again and select shift, hold shift. I'm gonna select the hold all of them and put, and drag them basically into the random effector. Like right, so, let me click this, click this basically so you don't, so you can just basically focus on the random effector. Drag this up a little bit. Take the position off because I don't want to make the position too off. So I'm put on rotation. And I'm just gonna mace, basically mess with this. Looks pretty decent. If I want to really make it more, I could just like put a timeline. See that timeline makes a difference. Makes it a little bit more cracked than it already is. Looks pretty good to me. I'm just render this. Let me pause it, and I'll show you what it looks like when it's done rendering. All right, done rendering, and as you can see, it looks really nice. Not maybe like as compared to the to this one, I guess. But I try to do it as as close as I possibly can. If I if you really want to make it crack, like I say, you can always make this a little bit higher. It's like twenty or something. Um, that looks pretty. That looks way better in my opinion. But um, it's really up to you. If you don't, if let me just go into how to render it, I guess with this Lightroom, I go to save. I click these three dots, I go desktop, and I save it to whatever I want to save it to. I'm gonna put ever red. And I'm and it's gonna you click X and it's like the middle thing and it should start rendering. Well I'm not gonna render this because I really don't need it. This is just a, it's just a tutorial. Anyway guys, this is really it. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um sorry about the way I sound. I, I don't feel good and I just woke up. Since a lot of you guys have been asking for a tutorial, I thought it would be a good idea to do it. Anyway, hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.